Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to bring you this showcase of the best young players in the world of golf. From Bay Hill, yeah, Cumberland, five shots back. Orlando, Florida. Third round coverage of Q School. Well, if yesterday was any indication, we should be in for a memorable weekend of golf here. Nice par three to start. On this Saturday. Some good names up there, including our leader. Let's get into the action as we pick things up at the par 3 7. So, going to do a high draw. Maybe a 5 iron. Drop it back a bit. Felt a bit of a wonky swing there, and it's not drawing. Distance probably about right, it just didn't draw as much as I wanted to. Solid shot, and sometimes solid throughout the round. Not liking his uh, outfit today, mind. That looks a bit strange. But a bending putt, strong right to left in this one. Thirty-nine foot. Very pleased just to get this one within a couple of feet. At least give it a chance. A grid line, grid and a half line. Sorry. That's turning way, way differently than I thought. Massively. Yep, well done. Decent start though. Oh. And he'll stay right where he is. Frank, as he stepped to the tee here at the eighth, what do you see? Another hole that suits the long hit of Rich. That bunker just over 300 yards. The further you get down there, the shorter club you have in over the water. Now, is this the one that we made the mistake on last time? I think it was this one. Where we ended up in the rough on the right hand side. Make sure we stay well clear of that. They call that position A. That's going to be right. Down Nicely the struck. You see, my line sometimes is a little bit wonky, but it hasn't been too bad. This is position A, right in the okay. fairway. 180 yards to go. Now I think we'll again draw this in. Oh, this could be good. This could be very good. Go in. Go in. Ah, oh, very close. Brilliant. Think about it. You've, you've got to cover nearly two football fields of distance and get it inside five feet. You wouldn't think that's possible. Okay, nicely done. That's now, that's a good baby. Moves it to two under par. Heading back toward the famous lodge at Bay Hill. This is the ninth hole. Straightforward par four. Not a good one. Two good shots here. You'll be happy to make the par. Flirting with the right hand side. Stay out that rough. Stay out the rough. First cut. Oh, that one's Not bad. The first cut. It's going to be a Just bit means less spin. spin it from there with a little bit of grass around the ball, but uh, still not too bad. I'm going to go for a high fade this time.
that's a decent strike. Safe, middle of the green. Probably a good 30 odd foot to the, uh, the flag. Yeah. Iona's down there. She's had a good look. This for birdie. Well, they often say it's the toughest putt in golf. There's not a lot to it. I think you can take dead aim. Hit it fairly straight. Go in, go in, go in. Oh, I turned it the very last second. Gave it a good chance. That was a bit unlucky, I think. Still two under though. It's good going. I actually dropped to a wood here to go the high fade. Yeah, that looks spot on. Just yeah, taking a, a nice little bit of distance off, but making sure it's uh, safe. Just fine. Down on the course, let's check in with Notabegay the third. Right, this is, is definitely a high draw sort of shot. Yards to the hole. Pin is on the front left part of the green. Now, one thing I don't have on is the ability to add to boost power and add spin whilst it's in the air, which is the added in as an option. You can turn that on or off. Um, and that's very similar to the old Tiger Woods style EA games, uh, which I like that they've added in. Haven't tried it yet, but I think I'm just going to leave it more in sort of like simulation type settings. But I'm glad it's there as an option. That's went way right. Don't know how that. And I that seem to go way right from the start there. The air, just doesn't quite finish up that near to the flag, but still on the green. It's a foot down. Um, bit of a wonky swing. Turn, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Wasn't the best. Mm, How did I come around the hole there? The bit, it stayed out wide left of the hole. Damn. That's not good. I mean, that shouldn't have uh, shouldn't have three put from there. Once again, water pops up here at Bay Hill. This at the Park World 11th. It's 438 yards. You want to sort of take this one around that lake on the left. But keep in mind, if you're too far right, then those fairway bunkers could become a problem. Just straight up the middle of this one. Nope, controller's going uh, crazy there again. I was half thinking about turning the uh, the trail, the ball trail, off, but sports coverage now they always pretty much have that on anyway. Um, so it's it doesn't seem unrealistic anymore. Obviously, you'd like to walk off eleven with three, but four here never really hurts the scorecard. This is one hole you sort of play with an orange light feeling, a little right of the flag. That's absolutely fine. Good swing line. Decent line. Stop, stop, stop. That's a very good shot. Nah, good shot. Inside 15 Safe foot. On the green and a birdie chance. 
This is a 13-footer. Turn a little bit. Oh, I didn't get enough power. Just another couple of turns front. A little bit further right or a little bit more power would have been spot on. So then, rushed in for a car here at 11. And he'll remain right where he is. Frank, now we're at the 574 yard, par 5, 12. How critical are the par fives if you're trying to put a score on the board here at Bay Hill? The crucial, Rich, because the, the par fours are very, very difficult. So anytime you get a par five, really got to take advantage of it. Okay. So yeah, pretty much just slight fade. Good strike. Don't bounce. Don't bounce. No problems Spot there. On. That's gonna wind up safely in the fairway. So it's gonna take a feet. big poke to get there, but a chance with nah. the second to the par five. Certainly not gonna go for this. Spot on. It's all but wanted in the fairway. How far have we got left? 64 foot, okay. Maybe we can uh, finesse it. Do we want to finesse it though? Finesse. Bit of a squirrely shot there. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Downhill putt, I think. This now, oh, it's not. Twelve. And players have a option to take less break by increasing the speed here. Yeah, I think we're gonna. Might have underhit it. Didn't turn anyway. Got it there, but not quite on target. And there is a second you can use for to show a putting line, uh, which would certainly make it easier. So when you go to put, it'll show you the direction the ball should travel in. But I kind of just wanted to throw myself in and, and get used to it as is. And I'm actually turning all of those off. But we're one under through and then all to of a sudden, the leaderboard, have somebody trying to win for the very, very first time. They feel that pressure. You might just inherit this. Yeah, so so we're to tied it. for 14th. Top so 10 again will be good. For all of us at EA Sports PGA Tour. We finished uh, second last time, was it? Did I just see that the leader is at nine under? EA Sports is proud to present continuing coverage of the world of golf. From Orlando, Florida and Arnold Palmer's Bay Hill Club and Lodge, live final round coverage of Q School. Two over. Challenge that oh great, thanks. So the AI's three over for the day. Together, to for me. Mother Nature and this course 
and trying to beat the entire field as we check the leaderboard. A number of folks in contention, including our leader. So let's get out to the course Last already two. deep into the round. In the last we four holes. On the par four, That's a little bit. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with that now. Nope, 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 nope. Bad swing. Good swing. Oh, is it a good swing? Yeah, it is. Felt like a good swing. Um, Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. I mean, the AI for the, uh, the holes it's played as my character certainly hasn't um, now the approach helped. Shot, par four, fifteenth hole. Frank, break it down. Green narrows up uh, the further back you go, so the most generous place to land the ball is in the front half of this green. It's also the flattest section of the green. Now, that wind should carry it and push it a little bit further. Mm. Could it be more aggressive uh, there? Ball's on the green, I know that, but uh, I mean, I'm looking at the flag and I don't see the ball by the Doesn't flag. need to celebrate that much. It was it's on the green, but that's about it. To tap in range, but it is for birdie. It's not going to turn, is it? No. Mm, yeah, that's good a strike. Good putt, just a little bit off the mark. Oh, and yeah, and an another one of the options to make it a little bit easier is to... Okay, the for the putt marker to start, it probably be about the right power. So if it's like 10 foot uphill, it'll be like, say, right about 10 foot past the hole. Turn that off as well, so it's always aiming at the cup. And I've got to make my own judgment on where to aim. OB to the left is reachable in two, but water in front of the green will punish the mishits. No. Too close to mm. the edge, and it's going to wind up falling into the bunker. I want to make sure you catch this cleanly. Is a second to the par five. Damn it! Really needed to be able to go for this. Let's get it in the fairway. And that's a good decision to not yeah. take on the water and lay up. No way, him there. taking on the water there. Okay, so let's go right at it. See, how hasn't that stopped that time? Why isn't that stopped? Substantial movement on this putt right to left. I don't understand that one. Distance, so this one not just about speed, but line as well. I struck it absolutely perfectly. Seven foot. Eight foot putt here. How has it gone that far past? Okay, didn't want to let that one get Nice save though. A par, here at a par five getting a par, that's he'll stay right uh. where he is. 
par 317s here at Bay Hill. How difficult is this hole? This one takes your best tee shot, Rich. Otherwise, you're just looking at four or five. 221 yard Frank, par three. Daunting shot. Ooh. What are you thinking as you step onto this tee? Just make three. Two is a huge bonus. Take three and a heartbeat. Not even thinking about two yet. Yeah, perfectly. I don't know why it's gone right there. I was even quite far left. I know I was fading it in, but it shouldn't have gone anywhere near there. Just a little splash out on this par three. Even a bit left because it's below my feet. Need this to go in though. I may have been a little more sunken in than we had thought, but all in all, not a bad shot out of the bunker. Oh, it's just not an easy perch. Nice, nice save there. It is in for par here at Ooh, that's a tricky par three. Right there he is. Here it is, the 18th at Bay Hill at Arnie's Place. It's one of the most famous finishing holes on tour. This is where Robert Gomez in the early 1990s pulled a seven iron for an eagle to beat Greg Norman. A lot of drama and a lot of history here at this closing hole. Absolutely beautiful course. Really good looking game. I wasn't sure what to think when it got announced that the game was coming out and uh, I saw some of the info they were releasing before and some of the trailers and I really didn't like the look of it. Something that, like, I really think they did a bit injustice with the trailers. It was stuttery, um, didn't look great. No issues it here. plays a lot better. I know it's 30 FPS and they're going to release 60 FPS for consoles eventually, I think, at some point. In a, they have mentioned that they're going to release that in a patch. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's fairly, you know, soon. Um, but it actually runs really well at 30 FPS from what I can see. And the trailers, it didn't. It didn't look at all. For, to me anyway. This is... Uh, this is taking a bit of a risk, isn't it? I think I'm going to aim... Oh, look at that swing. That's an awful swing. Could work out well. It's worked out well, but look at that swing path. I'll take that any day. We turn to Notabagay the third for this look at Birdie. Not much up or downhill here, so speed not a consideration. All that needs to be looked at is the movement from left to right. Go in, go in. Ah, oh, look at that swing path again. That swing path is straight, I think that's in. Currently 21st place. I hope this gets us uh, where we need to. Okay, so that will wind up the par at the last. And that will make this a final round score of 75. Frank, that wraps up another great day of golf here at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge. Always 11 enjoy. shots behind. Yeah, it's always a great test. Uh, win, lose, or draw. You but we finished in 20th Couldn't place. Better myself from all of us here at EA Sports. I'm Rich Lerner. For Frank Navalo, until next time. Does that mean we qualify for the PGA Tour? Uh, I think it does. I'm not sure. No, so that was to qualify for the Corn Ferry Tour. I wasn't. It's worded in a, a slightly weird way. So okay, so now we've made it onto the Corn Ferry Tour. Okay, that's good. Um. Yeah, was that what it was on before? I can't remember. Looks 
looks on 50 before. Let's just go with that. Finish the regular season inside top 75 to qualify for the Corn Ferry Tour Finals. Finish the Corn Ferry Tour Finals inside the top 30 to earn your PGA Tour card. Or you can win three regular season events. That was it. You win if you win three tournaments, you won't might be qualify for the PGA Tour anyway. And I think um, that's only been done like a very small amount of times in real life. I was watching that uh, documentary on Netflix, the golf documentary, um, and they were talking about one of the players, and it's only been done like a handful of times. So there's a couple of ways you can do it anyway. Let's have a look at our golfer. Got four points that we can use. I think we're gonna have to increase our power. Okay, just seeing what you can unlock. I do really like the career mode with the stats increase. It is very much like the Tiger Woods of games of old. I know this is not a Tiger Woods game, but you know what I mean, like the EA golf games. Um, but with the fact that you unlock new shots, I think that's such a great idea. I don't know if it's been done in any of the recent EA golf games because I didn't play the Rory McIlroy golf game. Um, so if this is in previous games, then apologize for that. But to me, it seems like a new mechanic for my personal preference. I haven't seen that before. Really like it, so you can actually aim for specific shot types because you do start off with the basics, but you can see in certain shot types like, oh, I wish I had like a finesse shot, or I wish I had a, uh, let's have a look, like say splash shots out of the bunker. So if I go in recovery, um, yeah, long flops, high flop spinners, um, Ah, it's got them down here. Okay, got you. That's really good. I really, I really like this. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of longevity into it as well. Have a, maybe have a quick look at the rewards because I think for pre-ordering. Yeah, we've got some rewards. I think it's just going to be. Yeah, clothing and um, equipment. What's that? Ball marker. Master's ball marker. Very nice. I'm definitely going to switch from the EA golf ball to one of these, probably. Scotty Cameron uh, Golf Club. Alright. I'm not going to equip that for now. Players Championship Polo. Got a hat. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, I don't like microtransactions. But I understand, you know, it's an EA game, of course, it's going to be in. And you can see the currency at the top there. I don't know what the triangle is. I don't know what the green uh, sort of diamond is. So clearly they can buy different things, but I haven't even looked at that yet. And I'm not going to do that on this actual stream. Um, Do we maybe want to play... Anyways, we're at the start. Okay, so if I decide to do that now, I'll have to play all four rounds. I don't really want to do that. Yeah, let's just do the quick again. I, I wasn't sure whether I would like the quick rounds. Um, but actually, it does get you through, obviously, quicker. But... Yeah, I, I do think it's it's worthwhile doing at least in the corn ferry tour and things like that. And the corn ferry tour 
are proud to showcase the finest young now when I get into the actual PG tour whenever that's gonna be home of the Ryder Cup in 2021 whistling I'll probably be play first round full rounds an opening event the Wisconsin Open this is gonna be a compelling four days of golf a lot of storylines to follow as we move through the weekend and we take a look at the leaderboard here in round one we've got a tie at the top at two under par meanwhile our featured golfer looking to get off to a hot start and maybe make an early move up the am leaderboard we'll get right out to the action here as we head to the tee at the par four first the straights at whistling straights okay we're starting early in the morning look how gorgeous that looks though Strong wind. Probably going to want to fade just to counteract that a little bit. Nope, oh, that's going crazy again. What's going on? That's uh. No. Nope. That's good. Wasn't sure how it was gonna hop. That's a good one to start. Safety in the fairway to get Should be over 300, is it? Yeah, easily. What an exciting time our featured golfer beginning the professional journey. A corn ferry tour. It's a good time to bring in our friend Nota Begay the third. Four times a winner on the PGA tour. He cut his teeth on this very circuit. Uh Nota, uh, what do you remember about that time and I have a sneaking suspicion one round in Oof, particular look at that wonky is swing. going to pop into your mind. Well, Rich, uh, yes, a great memory for me. Shot the first 59 in nice the history shot. of the Corn Ferry Tour. Could maybe a, not play the high shot there. Um, positive memory in my mind. And uh, what it did tell me in terms it's of It's a little bit left right at the end, but it does. Moving forward was the fact that yeah, maybe you just have to go out and you have to be aggressive. You have to make birdies and you have to shoot low scores. There's no laying up on the Corn Ferry Tour if you want to take that next big step to the big show. Ooh, hit it a little bit harder than I meant to. Give it a good go though. Well done, that is in for okay. bar here at part the to first. start. And he'll stay at even par. This is the shorter of the two par fives on the front, the second, at 597 yards. So you know that next one is long. Just a little bit of a dog leg to the left. If you are going to try to knock it on into, you have to keep an eye on that pot bunker. It's 35 yards short of the green. And if you're in that, you may not be coming out. Again, our player is not really a, a fader kind of guy, but for this uh, fairway, I think I'm going to have to. Very nice. Yeah, nothing to fault there. Good balance. Good follow. Of course, fading good takes good a little bit of power off. I still hit over 300 yards. I'm not going to be able to get this in two. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. And you really could not have placed this ball any better down the left half of this fairway, opening up that green beautifully to give this a crack in two. Look at that wonky swing, though. Of course, I landed in the one place. Oh, Jesus. The tiniest thing to aim for. <laughs> okay. Um, do we have. Oh, pitches. It's going to go a fair bit left because it's above my feet.
kind of rolled a fair bit more than I wanted it to. Fifteen feet away. Again, chance for a birdie though. So not too bad. Ten. 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 I nearly had it. Just gonna wander a foot or so by. Yeah, I mean, par on a par five is not ideal. Got to take your chances on those ones. Frank, how do you like the look of the first par three in the golf course, the third hole? Well, you have a good look at Lake Michigan for a start. That's uh, certainly not where you want to hit it, though. Um, really use the green, the shape of the green, which angles to the left. So definitely going to want to aim right here and try and almost spin it back towards the, uh, yeah. Let's have a look. I think that's going to spin too much, isn't it? If we do it there. Spin, spin, spin. Not bad. Okay. Took on the sort of in between yeah, clubs there. Really Could have maybe played a shorter club and um, put That's a bit of, of a gay, the D loft on. Look at birdie. And he may have to play a little right to left break here just because it's a downhill putt, but it shouldn't be that much. Right or left? It's gone left to right though, isn't it? That's gone left to right. I'm not crazy, am I? Are those are those, gonna sneak on by. those grid lines must be wrong then, because he said right or left, and it went right or left. But those grid lines are definitely going left or right. Am I going crazy there? So that safely in. It's a par here at the third. And he'll stay right where he is. Well, here we are at the par four fourth. It's a shade under 500. Am I playing? It's the hardest hole on the golf course. Why? Well, he dies by a mind game. Is it just randomly again, he's trying to get you to play me the first four holes or something? Oh, two holes left. You do, and what happens is so many I was looking for that before to see how many holes I had. Bunkers and the if I go on to... Dangerously toward Lake Michigan. Again, mind games from the mastermind. He died. No, it doesn't tell you how many shots you've got left. I know it did just there before, but it'd be really good if somewhere in here let's see how many shots you had left. That should be good. And the draw will just keep it carrying on. We'll do just fine. Very nice. God, if I had gone down that slope there, it could be a massive drive. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. This is a par four, okay. <laughs> is challenging enough. You just have to find the fairway. Um, That's what we've done here. So, still a chance of making a par or better. How do I? Just trying to get used to it. Different camera angles as well. So definitely want to play a high. Probably going to do a fade just to counteract the the wind a little bit and maybe do a five iron but drop it a bit short as well. Bit of a dodgy looking swing. But that's good. Keep on, come on, keep going. 
Very nice. 24, I'll take that. Look here at Birdie. Yeah, it's just very slightly up the hill. I don't think it's going to move more than a ball or so to the right. All right, it looks more to me, but... I'll go with what they're saying. And that was spot on. Yes, plenty of pace to get up that slope. So he said about a ball, and I aimed about a ball left, and it worked. Just a shot off the lead. Hmm. Ready to tee off here at the fifth. It is a 603-yard snaking par five. Yeah, really, there's no way you can carry that water on the right side. 340 yards finds the field Jesus. on that line, so that's not really worth it. Ideally, just hit it down the left side. Take your medicine. Wasn't looking at the course properly there. It just God, that's an intimidating shot, isn't it? If you're doing that in real life. The drive was fine, but just not long enough. So this par five, out of his reach. Yeah, that's fine. I knew it was going to be. Now, from better than 300 yards out, a second. Just having to lay up again, basically. As long as we're in the fairway, which we will be. That's a nice spot to be in. It's fairly flat there. And. Is finesse a higher. Not really sure. Whoa, a lot of spin. Okay, so finesse is definitely higher apex, I think. Should really keep go. an eye on that this on the right hand side. Just keep track of uh, how the balls react. Different shots. I think maybe. God, look at that swing. That was terrible. I shouldn't have. I should have stopped that swing. I knew it was off straight away. That one finished off. It is a part here at five, and he'll remain at four under. That's good going. Four under in the uh, the first round. Uh, final look at the opening round leaderboard. It shows our featured golfer just two back at day's end. Makes that second round even more important. Rich, don't get too adrift come moving day. So that's it for us. For Frank, Noda, Iona, and our entire. What I think I'll do is uh, do the next few rounds on this and then call it a day. Really enjoying it.